Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I've made two more bookends and uh, these are so fun to make and <laughs> I couldn't stop. So uh, here are some made with a beautiful couture uh, paper collection again from Graphic 45 and these are really uh, beautiful papers and I made a lot with them. And uh, for these I uh, went in just uh, black and uh, uh, cream uh, tones and I used uh, these papers here and uh, these papers are great also if you want to customize your colors you can color them in uh, I did that a uh, bit in the first uh, uh, bookends I made so it's a lot of fun you can do with this uh, paper line and I also used some of the solid and uh, patterns this one that coordinates with the paper so uh, then I can start uh, showing you a bit here. Maybe take the books a bit out of the way and <laughs> just for showing how they work. So this can be displayed also as a um, uh, sort of a configuration box or uh, just for some uh, decoration. And um, can maybe start with uh, this one first and show you a bit. So see if I manage to stay in frame. <laughs> and uh, on the side here, uh, here I have a bookmark. It's uh, fastened with a ma uh, magnet. I uh, first uh, thought of having this in a drawer, but <laughs> I also made a tiny mini album to go in there and <laughs> there was no place. So I fastened it here. So if I knew I had gone to fasten it here, I would have taken two magnets so they don't flip. But it works. So this uh, works like uh, I can write a note maybe inside here, like so, and it's uh, one magnet here and one he here, and um, I can maybe show you on the book here. So when you're reading a book, you take it over like so, and then it stays in place so you know where you are. So hope it shows up. So one on, on uh, this side here and I also have uh, one on the other side Let's see if I can find there is a magnet and uh, also one placed here so that I can show you a bit here more first and uh, here I used a dress from form from Tim Holtz and I uh, also have a bookmark here on top here a little hat so this is also magnetic and I have some um, trims and uh, uh, laces and uh, also made a little rose here with uh, some ribbon and some flat back pearls here and here I cut out from the paper line and here is a spool with uh, some ruler and uh, these uh, thread spools here are from AccuCat and Tim Holtz die. So one is uh, the one on this die, and that also is for the buttons here. And some from AccuCat Craft and some from Tim Holtz. So maybe give you a more close up here, so you can see it maybe. And here it says Ulala, and this I made for a friend of mine that likes the soy. So I thought maybe she could use it on her sewing room and uh, she uh, maybe needs some journaling. So here is a tag that flips out, like so. So these are the toppers uh, of a Sissix die that I showed in the first video and there I also tell a bit how I put it together. And on my blog you can find the measurements, so I will uh, link to that below. So this goes inside here. So, and uh, here is a die from Marianne Design. It's, it was a baby die with a baby face inside, so I just uh, used the frame. Uh, and uh, in the bottom here, I have some uh, made some uh, pleated paper trim, and that I made by uh, cutting a strip of uh, 12 by 12 paper in one inch strips and then scored at every quarter and, and every half inch and folded it and glued it on the top. So I used one strip of paper here and one on this side. And um, 
here are some uh, lace that I glued on and on the top here if you can see here I have some 4 millimeter black flat back uh, pearl trim and uh, this I have uh, looked for for a very long time and didn't find it and uh, then I find it at uh, lavish laces so if you're looking for it uh, you can find it uh, there and I will put the link below and uh, see here on the top of the spool I have uh, I'm not sure the name but so maybe some push buttons here and also one down here and uh, the way I glued uh, these down so to make them stand I uh, made a hinge on the back it doesn't show up because then I cut a strip in the paper and placed the hinge behind so that I did for all this uh, standing up here so uh, that was uh, that side so then I can show you the other side so here you can see it's a mirror and this is uh, from Tim Holtz sorry for the shining here so I just uh, cut it out and uh, I used uh, the Tim Holtz ornate uh, frame and uh, these uh, beautiful uh, ladies here here I cut out uh, some more and popped up and, and give them some more clothes, some scarf and a hat and uh, this bow and yeah. And all uh, these are uh, covered by, by Claudine Helmut Multimat, so they get a bit more stiff. So also for the other lady here and some more buttons here and some shoes. And here I have a, a sewing machine that was a, a button. That I glued on here. So the same uh, trim around here. Yeah, and then uh, here I also cut out the uh, couture here and just glued it on each end. So hope it shows up here. So and uh, also um, tag inside here. And uh, inside the drawer I have a little tiny mini album. So I can show you that also. I can show you the drawer first. And this door, uh, drawer pull I got from Butterbee Scraps. So I will link to her store below as well. She has a lot of beautiful embellishments and metal things. So just so inside. And uh, this is a binded. Uh, you can see the spine here maybe by the new uh, tape. This is a washi tape uh, that uh, Graphic 45 carries now. So I find the spine here with that one. So it's great to use and I also used it here for the closure. So here's a magnet and the corners here, these are from uh, Martha Stewart uh, Punch. And also got fussy cut out couture here and a little shoe. So I didn't do much inside here because I mean, this is a gift so I wanted the receiver to do uh, some journaling or uh, yeah whatever she likes. So here I just uh, cut out uh, a couple more of the thread spools. Let's see if I can stay in frame here. And one here and a little lady. So and here I did a big mistake. I glued um, uh, the outside um, pattern paper upside down so it's uh, some tags inside here and uh, now it's not uh, slide up but slide down so uh, here is some tags and that goes for all the pages so this was supposed to go on the top but uh, yeah <laughs> now she can pull it down so just will flip fast uh, through here so it's not so much in uh, this album here so, just like so, loose tags. And this uh, tag uh, punch is from uh, Fiskars uh, punch. So, this was the tiny album. So I really love to make this uh, small booklets or mini albums. It's so fun. So this uh, was uh, my project and uh, I hope you maybe can get some ideas and I will give it a try so you can find the measurements for this on my blog that I think I said before but uh, anyway um, 
have fun creating everyone and uh, thank you so much for watching my videos and your kind support. Take care, bye bye.